If you're really serious about your RE100 commitments, that is to reach 100% renewable energy replacement for all your plants, all your facilities across India, then you should definitely, definitely consider procuring virtual power purchase agreements, which is commonly known as VPPA solution. VPPA is nothing but an agreement between uh, the renewable energy power producer and the renewable energy power procurer to procure the renewable energy attributes of the projects that is the greener attributes of the solar, wind uh, or any renewable energy uh, project at a price structure without physically receiving the actual power. Two critical uh, pricing structures under which you can procure virtual BPA which are commonly used in India are one which is called as long term REC sale. Under this structure, a project is being set up by the solar power producer or the wind power producer and this project and the power procurer like the industrial and commercial customers like yourself get into a long term agreement to procure the renewable energy credits or the carbon credits from this project on a long term basis. The power component the, which is typically called as the ground power from this project is being sold to the India Energy Exchange at a price which is determined by the demand and supply and for every price for every power which is being sold at India Energy Exchange uh, one REC is being issued which can be procured by the industrial and commercial customers like yourself on a long term basis. Second most common structure in India is called as trade co structure which one of the e-commerce giant has recently done it in India. In this trade co structure a trading company which is a legal entity uh, typically a wholly owned subsidiary of the power procurer who is uh, the procurer of the power is being set up and this trade co and the, then enters into a long term power purchase agreement with the uh, project company which is being set up by the power producer and uh, this trade co buys both the power and the greener component through the same power purchase agreement um, and and then this trade co company sells the uh, power which is the browner power at the exchange and relies the price based on the market price whatever is the uh, tradable market price at that point of time and for each unit which is being sold at the uh, exchange they get one REC equivalent to their requirements of their group company. I hope this brings you clarity, this gives you clarity about both the structures. Be knowledgeable, be aware about these structures, their implications in detail while you are procuring the virtual PPA solutions and meeting your RE100 goal. Do watch this space for more such pricing structures which are emerging in uh, virtual PPA solution category like contract for difference and many more which are coming.